Hey everybody, this is what you're going to require to make a uh, drift trace for shad. Your pliers, something to cut your gut line, your fishing line, a uh, ball sinker, three quarter ounce, a bead, two two way swivels, a shad hook, some uh, strong line. Yeah, I'm using 31 kilo line from Kingfisher and I'm using stainless steel leader wire from American Fishing Wire and I'm using a thicker wire which is number 14 before using for my drift trace and yes guys that's what you would need or require to make a drift trace okay guys so I've got my number 14 wire here and I'm going to cut off a piece, not very long, maybe 15 centimeters, it's not going to be a very long piece. Just cut off a piece, like that, then you take your shad hook, put it through, bend it. Once you've got that bend there, bend it a little bit more with the plier, not too much. Like that. And just clamp it down. And start twisting the wire. Give it a few twists. I, I prefer giving it at least three or four twists. So that's what it would look like at the stage. These little pieces that's going to be snipped off now, the tag end of the wire. Uh, when you're snipping it off, snip it off into a um, into a bin. You would I would recommend you doing that because that's lying on your floor everywhere. Uh, your kid or somebody can be walking bare feet and that can be a big problem So yeah, so now what I'm going to do is snip it off there into a bin There it goes in the bin Right next step. I'm going to take a uh, two-way swivel Put it in there So I'm just going to make the um, bend on the wire it's a little bit longer than the, the hook but there is fine make my bend take your plier bend it a bit more there you go it's creepy there on the on the wire and start twisting couple of twists that's fine like that that's what it looks like at the stage so I just snip off this little tag and piece on the wire Guys, that's what it looks like at the stage. Right. Okay, next step, I'm going to take some uh, monofilament line here. As I said, I'm using 31 kilo line. The thicker line I feel is better. So, yeah, I'm going to take about a 50 centimeter piece. That's about 30. Take a little bit more, maybe about 60 centimeters, cut it off. And um, yeah, snip that off. Then I'm going to join it to my swivel there.
the line is a bit more difficult to work with and I use a knot that I've used for a long long time I think it's called a number eight knot I'm not sure not sure why but yeah maybe it looks like a number eight each loop so yeah and with that put my line through there we did a little bit more for me that's my tried and tested knot cut off the tag end Prefer to leave a little bit of uh, tag there. Okay, guys. So that's uh, my monofilament line now is hooked. I mean, I've uh, knotted onto my uh, sole there. Next step I would put is a bead. These are glow in the dark beads you get at your fishing shops. Put that in there. Next, I will take a three quarter ounce uh, sinker. In this case, it's uh, one of these round sinkers, or oval type sinkers. Put that in there. So that's what it looks like at the stage. Next step take a swivel. Get my monofilament line through. And a couple twists, six, seven twists. For my number eight knot. With that there. Put it through. I waited a little bit more. Cut off that tag end. And voila. You've got your drift trace ready for shed. That's what it looks like, guys. Hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys uh, make your own uh, drift traces or any other traces instead of buying it, you know. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's made. Uh, I would suggest getting an edible trace uh, pouch. Uh, this one here from Fish SA. Awesome. And what you do is you just Open one of these, pop in your trace, These edible uh, trace cases from Fish SA, perfect for the job, look at that, ready to go, close him up, so uh, Look at buying one of these. I think your local fishing shops should have it in, in stock. If not, you can uh, always uh, ask them to order. These are perfect, guys. So, uh, yeah.